All right, Alberto Contador posted his power data the other day from the Tour de France. Absolute crazy numbers. Are they true? 458 watts for like 20 minutes, up an 8% climb, is going 24.6 Ks an hour. He then posted another one, which was 20 minutes at 454 watts. Um, and that's just, for me, is quite insane. I can't really like put that into words of like how fast that would be. Like that's about 7.3 watts per kilo for his 62 kilo weight. Um, which he said he was more or less, I think he, he's weighed himself at 61.6. Um, so he rounded up to 62, but like, that's, that's just insane. I mean, I can, I can do that maybe for like three minutes, maybe like at a real push. Um, and he can do that for 20 minutes. It's just quite frankly, ridiculous. Like the speed he'd be going up that climb is just, <laughs> I, I just actually can't put into words how crazy, uh, and how fast he must be able to go like at the end of a grand tour, like that's why he is just one of the best climbers and best time trials in the world is because he can just do incredible numbers fresh. Um, but it does bring into question, like obviously he's on drugs, like there's, there's no way you're not going to hit 7.4 watts per kilo if you're not on something um, special. I mean, that's just, just not natural. Uh, in terms of the watts per kilo chart, Andrew Coggan has 6.7 watts per kilo. FTP is the highest recorded. So if you take 95% of that, you get about 6.97 watts per kilo figure, more or less. But for 7.3, 7.4, I feel like that's just taking a piss a little bit, Alberto Contador. Like, you can't... Like, just posting that, it's like, come on, mate. Like, that's just outrageous. But I don't know if that's true. Like, because I know a lot of people... Well, not know, but, like, as in world tour riders who have, like, their power data on Strava or whatever. And they're bigger guys like Dowsett, Valgren, etc. And they don't put anywhere near as much power as Contador. So either he had a dodgy SRM that day or he's just sort of slightly lying or whatever. I, do, I don't understand. I'm not sure if this is actually true or not, just because it's quite frankly so ridiculous. I just can't, I just can't believe it really. Like, I, I mean, if it was like 6.7, 6.9 watts per kilo, then maybe, maybe. But like, I mean, you can see this footage now. It's like him just destroying everyone up in Motorola. Like he starts 50 seconds behind, bridges up to Aru and then attacks off Aru and like drops him. I mean, he's, he is ridiculously strong. But in terms of the mass of the other riders, like Chris Froome, if he's having to do maybe, maybe Chris Froome is slightly better endurance, so he doesn't do as much fresh, but even if he's doing seven watts per kilo fresh, that's almost like 480 watts, which is like, <laughs> again, absolutely mega. Uh, and similar, I think Lance apparently did like 6.7 watts per kilo. He was around 70-ish kilos, so that's almost 500 watts for 20 minutes. Um, I think 480, 490, something like that. Um, well, apparently Lance did. But all these numbers are just absolutely insane. Like, I, I, I feel like he must be lying. I, I feel like 430, 420, like there were pictures of going around saying this um, FTP was like seven watts per kilo, 420 watts. So a little less than seven watts per kilo, which might have been right. But then if you do, if you do the calculations on what 420 watts as an FTP is, um, it doesn't actually come up with the right answer really. It's like 442 watts. So he's gained at least another 15 watts here. So maybe his FTP, Maybe his FTP is a little on the low side. I'm not 100% sure. But even so, it's quite incredible that these power data, the power data that Contador can release, uh, that he can do apparently. Uh, I'd like to see also which climb this was on because if he uploaded to Strava, he would get that KOM easy there and just humiliate everyone else who's like tried that climb. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do you think Alberto Contador, number one, is his power data real? Uh, and also number two, uh, is he on drugs? That's, that's the main question. I mean, for me, I think his power data is probably not real and he probably is on drugs, but anyway, uh, more Tour de France footage will be coming. And I've also got the Giro Rosa when that finishes, I'm going to do a good highlights of all of that the footage is lacking, but I'm trying to put something together. Anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video.